Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Are you ready to see what the North Sea has for treasure this morning? Hello everyone and a very warm welcome indeed to another episode of One Man and His Boat. So this is the first day that we're actually going to go and actually pull pots for profit. Uh, we still have four fleets that I need and brought in to wash but we're going to do them uh, every second day uh, just so we can actually earn something. Uh, what is happening this week? Well we have a meeting with Rachel Hamilton S MSP. <laughs> Try to get my words around it's early in the morning. Give me a minute. <laughs> I've even had a cup of tea. Uh, yes, and we're going to be talking about the HPMAs, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see her take on things as she is actually defending uh, the local communities. Excuse me, the local communities that the HPMAs will affect. Now obviously it's a big thing there now, uh, between that and the MCA and their ML5s and I'm still saying to every single fisherman out there, don't do it. Don't bow down to the dictation that's coming through the MCA. Because this is your business, it's not theirs. They can write all the rules and regulations all they want, but nah. Do they get a fitness record to say if they're fit to go to work or no? No they don't, but they like to sit in an office and make the rules up that they do just to please the uh, God, I went too far for it now. Just to please their own um, back. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to stop moaning. It's Sunday morning. Let's get it on. two fleets are going to be interesting because our first fleet has been washed and has been baited with the same bait the second fleet has been uh, baited with however the second fleet is not washed so it'll be interesting for you guys to see exactly the difference between a washed creel and an unwashed creel I'm just not feeling it this morning guys I really haven't I think I'd be keen for getting back out to uh, pill pots but It's a thought, it's a thought. Three. Got three Sammy seals on a boat side here. And 
la 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 Are you excited for me to be back? I certainly am. Thank goodness we're back out in the water. Flags everywhere by the way. Absolutely everywhere. I think that's why I'm most so keen. No light this time of year. Prefer the winter time. You get a bit of space. Things are fished how they used to be fished. Everybody had a, has a bit of space. In fact, I'll tell you a wee story. Something that just uh, enlightened me not that long ago. Um, we follow a lovely fisherman down from down south in Cornwall called uh, Happy Gilbert. And he was explaining about what he's been trying to do with um, buried hen lobsters. And also, what's happening down in his area with um, the, the bigger the bigger players in the game, shall we say. And what they're doing is scrubbing berry hens. Absolutely disgusting way to fish. A, obviously you're killing all the wee berries, all the, the, the wee lives. And B, the, the female lobster does not last long after you scrub her. It's just not a good practice whatsoever, but to them it's all profit. And what Happy Gilbert uh, explained that really clicked home with me is there's fishermen that'll do their best by the stocks, they'll do the best by what gear limitation, and then there's businessmen that doesn't give a damn, they'll only care about profit and it doesn't matter who gets on the road. And unfortunately in this game, it's the bigger players that always wins. The wee guys do what they can, but it's not make any difference. The big boys comes in with his big bucks, all his money, lays the land, scat, fills, fills the, the ground with all his gear. He doesn't care. He's no bored about the future generations trying to get into this job. But the government love these kind of people because that's how they make their money. Right, anyway, stop talking, Baz, and let's get over some work, shall we? Right, first fleet approaching, guys. guys we call them queenies you can tell they're female because of the wee red pouch she's quite a young one uh, and a big rounded shell that way uh, basically we measure them from the edge of the shell here to here I'm 
believe it. No, absolutely not. Look at this nonsense, guys. Never in my life did I have my hooks there. Someone's already been at this. Nice berry hand to uh, mark off. guys that was a complete bad example of what a clean creel can do obviously somebody's been through it already there's not going to be much left for me is there and for where we are it is rather bare right guys another reason why we didn't do well out of that fleet i just noticed that i one of our other boats had shot right down the side of me absolute nonsense if boats are shooting like that together the both of aren't going to fish. You have to either stagger or take a berth out. It's absolutely, honestly. Fishermen nowadays. Right, excuse me, I really have to pay attention here. We're going in at the White Rocks.
Right guys, so we're just coming up on the second fleet now. Uh, we're in a lot deeper water, we're at nearly nine fathom. Uh, what I'm going to be trying to do with uh, these next few fleets is start working them up towards the harbour. So it's uh, a lot quicker and easier to get them in for blitzing. Uh, and just so everybody knows that watches my vlogs, we do have 27 medley boats for sale. Please help the channel out by the pots, so I can get my wooden pots in. There's actually been two or three boat walking individual creels, but I'd rather get them away as a job walk. That way, out of sight, out of mind. There's bloody windy right next to these, I know. Ah, see, I told you I hate this time of year. Can they frickin' move? Mind you, I think that's his end. They're still talking trash, you other fishermen. <laughs> well, there's that much gear in the water, they've got nowhere else to put them, bless them. Remember what I was saying about Remember what I was saying about the big players? Right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately this fleet behind me is a lot worse for wear than what I was expecting so we're going to take this fleet in instead of the last fleet and I'll, we'll call it quits for today um, What have we got? Absolutely zero We've got velvet crabs and they're going over the side So yeah, a total wasted day However, we've got gear back, so that's a positive. Uh, we just need to sort it out. And, oh, it's tough at the top, eh? it really is. <laughs> you try so hard. 
But there you go. We still, it looks like we still have another couple of days yet to sort sort things out. And that's what happens when the boats are lying a lengthy time. I mean, the gears out here in all weathers. Uh, this was this was shaped like a horseshoe, and it was all balled up, sort of in the middle. Eh? So, yeah. Right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please write a comment below if you have any questions. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. And just remember, one man his boat will always be fishing for tomorrow, not for today. Until your next vlog, my friends. All the very best.